Oh. It's a good job we didn't bang each other. Bang heads, okay. Hello. Hey. I've started a thing now, I've regret it instantly. Right, while he's doing that, I'll start the video. Hello, all. For those who don't know, sometimes we do uh, videos on the channel. You know, just to... we do videos on the channel. Yes. So that's where where, I'm going where we just talk and uh, generalize about life and the insanity that is our world. And the insanity which is him. I'll talk to him. Do you want to say anything? Yeah. Yeah, I'd like to say something. Social distancing, remember? Two metre distance. Always wear a mask. Yeah, very, actually very good uh, advice. Especially in this day and age. Mm. It has shocked how things have changed in the last year, so... Is... And me my hat, Jay. Oh, Lord. I can see it from here. Where is it? On there. I don't know where it really is. Ow! Oh god, he's gonna do a back from there. You it could have worked. If it would have worked, it would have been fantastic. I am now Walter White from Breaking Bad. Explains all them teeth, look at that. Oi! I'm doing the community a favour, I'm wearing my mask. You know, like you're meant to. Mm. Mm. Not indoors. Well, if it's not your breath, you're an arsehole. Oi, language, there are people listening. This is a family show. Since when? Mr. Penfold, would you like to get in on this? <laughs> yes, the madman that is Penfold, Penfold, Penfold is in the background playing. Battleships play and play making more. weird noises, and not always with his mouth, so it's very disconcerting. Uh, so basically, we're just making this random video. Just talking shit. Exactly. Basically, the the role of this channel is just to share people up, make them laugh, and I think in this time and. This day and age we need yeah, it. Yeah, we need it more than ever. So you, you need a shave. You you need a new face. I don't mention it, but you just mentioned it. It's yeah, not, well, that's you not know, very nice. You know that's not should, very nice. You know what I should mention? You need a new face. Look, I might need a new face, but you still like my ideas. I st I do. I can't win. I'm not going to try to win. So are we talk about anybody in general. Or we okay. Come in here to... Let's talk about this remote. It has. All right. See you later. <laughs> you just did say we talk about it. Paul. Did he not? Yeah. yeah. I have a cold, by the way. Well, not cold. I have a fever. So distraction. Is there for anyone who wants to know? Wait, you have wait, you have a cold. Oh dear. I have a cold and I'm wearing your hat. My hat. Okay. No. No. Flat can't see you better. So any news that you wanna mention? For anyone who hasn't actually heard of the uh Previous video that Joe does, he big change happened in his life. I think we've already put that on YouTube. And now, for, for anyone who hasn't seen the video, Joe is officially engaged. Yay! Hmm. We're all very happy for him. So, if you want to send. Joe, is, Joe, your congratulations, and <laughs> Kelly, your condolences. Please let them know. 
Can I kill him yet? Yeah, that's the Kelly Frog again. Seriously, we are all very happy for him. Why are you smirking at me then? I always smirk. I'm a smirker. No, that's just weak. It's just... <laughs> I don't think you can even be heard, so... Uh -huh. Any comments towards anything? You can't do that to the people. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Yes, ladies and Hello. gentlemen, he's not in a home just yet. James walking <laughs> I'm playing with himself. Leave me alone. You're getting a quick look inside the uh, home of the Cartledge Ryan uh, facility. Like I said, let's discuss this remote. It has buttons, different colours as well. Okay, I've got it. All right, go on, let's... Mm. Mm. Oh, you mentioned... All right. Talk about your gaming history, history because you've been playing a lot of uh, you've 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 gone off a couple of games right now. Well, I've just reinstalled um, Crash Team Racing because somebody, Jamie Ludlam, put me off the game by constant raging when he first got the first game. First of all, if you love a game, other you... people's rages or opinions should not matter with that. Secondly, I've stopped raging from now on. I no longer rage at Crash Team Racing. And when I do, it's in, 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 not in a party. And so you still rage at it? Sometimes. He just says yeah. he doesn't rage yeah. anymore, and he says, but when I do... Shut your mouth. Can I out back, please, Paul? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you can't have anything, can you? No, no, we cannot. He has to touch, he? Yeah, he has to touch every... Oh, wait. Uh... Mm. <laughs> it's quite cold. I've got hay fever. And a mild dust allergy. There you go. And that... you're an arsehole. <laughs> one minute, one minute, viewers. I've got the perfect situation for this. Ow. While he's doing that, I just like to... For anyone who does know, no, we don't have a script. No, we don't know what we're going to say when we do this. This is what happens. Just random stupidity from two stupid plonkers who just want something to do. This is what happens when you give us a camera. This friggin' shit. This is what happens. You get a golden-faced... Pillow. In a bloody... Jazz hat and a, and a mask. That actually works quite well. With friggin... You look a cross between an Oscar and a, and a bloke with gingivitis. Oh, no. Ted, one minute. You can't see through it. No, it's just the lighting on the camera keeps going weird. It's just... There you go. <sighs> Look at you, you're, you're sweating that thing, viewers. Yeah, that that and the uh, face mask do go actually really well together. Yeah. Anyway, like I was saying, viewers, we are discussing this remote right here. See, look. Any updates for the channel? Uh, as, as a whole? I mean, to, to tell everybody, obviously changing name. Well, uh, they sh I think they've noticed. Yeah, for anyone who doesn't notice, we've officially changed the name. We've officially changed the name. Yeah, it's now it's full auto nerds gaming. Yeah, mainly because we want to uh, expand a little bit, not just in video games, but in uh, yeah. General nerdy things that we love, like comic what, books, doing like, video, um, comics, comics. Uh, TV shows, movies. We should play Monopoly sometime. Yeah, more games, maybe. More games, yeah. 
Because of the fact I have Pokemon Monopoly upstairs. <laughs> okay. Okay. And if you have anything you think would be you'd want to see in the channel, please leave uh, leave your comments down in the comments section and we'll get back to you. You really confused yourself there, didn't you? Yes, I did. I am not good at this. Anyway, basically, if you have any ideas, if you want us to maybe or talk more any... about comics or movies or... Funko Pops. Funko Pops, yes, I'm a very good at that. I'm very good at that. You're very good at Funko Pops. I'm very good at talking about Funko Pops and buying them. Quite like because hundred quid, went, hundred went... quid I spent in Manchester. Before you even say it, hundred quid I spent in Mansfield. Didn't realise it, but weren't going to go on without them. No, you nearly spent a hundred quid. It came to ninety eight pound ninety nine. Anyway. So you was nearly. Yeah. <laughs> even though, bear in mind, I saw the prices on the Funko yeah. Pops. He didn't. You didn't tell me, Dad. I did tell you. I went, are you sure? You went, yes. I went, okay. You never mentioned the price. You've got eyes. Four pairs of them. So, is this is this something we're doing now? Sorry, no, I just... Yeah, the screen keeps going wibble, wobble, wibble, wobble. We've got the light out there, so it will go dark mm -hmm. and bright. It's light out there? It's like... Good deduction, officer. So basically, yes, we're going to be doing various different things. You talked about doing more vlogs, didn't you? Uh, stuff like this, yes. Yes, we want to just get it. So if you have a topic for us or anything, again, leave it down in the comments. What about a Milky Way? A mil or, a, mil or a Cadbury? Oh, don't want to mention Cadbury chocolate, obviously. Galaxy? Galaxy. Galaxy. Kit Kat? Um, <laughs> Snickers? Mars? Would anyone like me? Like Free Rag? <laughs> Why did they rest? Obviously, a bit too late now. The old marathon bar. Why did they change the name? Yeah, question from Pen Penfold, Penfold, Penfold. What happened to the old marathon bar? Why did they change the name? Why? Yeah, why? Question of the day. Because they had to I mean, keep like paying the Olympics loyalty. With the name Snickers. Yeah, where did the name Snickers come from? If you want something to say, come and say it to the camera. You know, He's a lazy bugger, isn't he? Oh, yes. He's playing he with a joystick. He's playing with a joystick. You'll go blind. Oh, yeah, I'm blind. That's true. As you can see, we're completely <laughs> mental. Insane. The fact is, we're just trying to make people laugh and have fun. That's all the video's about. Yeah. At the end, that's what we like to do. Ooh, shiny. I mean, to be honest, uh, that's what we do. We should do a road trip video one day. Yeah, then things get a bit better. Just, yeah. Well, once, probably not next week, my week after start looking to driving lessons. Oh, cool. Because you can just see... Uh, sorry, was that a bit of a shock to you, Jay? No, I'm, I'm glad. What is what? Driving lessons. You did think about taking motorbike lessons at one point. Yeah, but I want to get some a bit more practical. Yeah, it makes sense. Because I'm going to just hop in the car, um, duct tape the phone to the front of the window and just, you know, do it while you're driving. Huh. Well, you get hands free then, don't you? Well, my hands won't be free because I'm on the steering wheel. But yeah, <coughs> that would be good, just to pop in the car and go, where are we going today? I don't know. Uh, wherever the gods take us. Wherever yeah. we go, we go together. Yeah, like I said, I was going for scooter lessons, and it's like, might as well get a car, it's more practical, mm. we can put stuff in the car. Yeah. And, and if it rains, we don't get wet in the car. Yeah, that's a good point. What are you laughing at? You. Uh oh. We are not. I'm not going there with that comment. But I think Kelly knows my answer. It's like if I want to go to McDonald's at midnight, because I get hungry, it's like, go on, Jay. If it's staying over, we'll go to McDonald's. But it's like 11 o'clock at night. Yeah, and? What's your point? Uh, all right, all right. It's what all the bloody chavs do with it. <laughs> Sit in McDonald's car park. Yeah, worst things to do. 
Yeah. Be like, Paul's just going to bed and we're just going to McDonald's. Be like, Kelly, do you want to? Yeah. yeah. McFlurry. Okay. It's not good if you're going to go to bed straight after, though. Yeah. Go to bed on empty, never go to bed on an empty stomach. Doesn't feel right when you wake up the next morning. Mm. And we have no longer. <laughs> Quick, Wait. think of a topic. Can you imagine if we did go off script? We'd be like, we'd be like this. We, there's no point on putting a script because none, neither of us will ever go by. You know what we really? should do? Get get a bunch of sticky notes and just do this. Or that. Hide your face, which is a good thing. That's just mean. Of course it is. Do you try to say I'm ugly? Yeah. Well, you're not hairy anymore. Excuse me? You used to have that bloody wire brush you used to clean boots with on your chin. <laughs> See, my hands are here. You're led with the ring finger as well. <laughs> what ring? What are you about? Is it by magic? Hey. Now you see it. Now you do not. Now you don't. <laughs> but yeah. I should do a video game review sometime. Yeah. I started doing them like a couple of years ago and just gave up because... Just kept getting negative comments, it's like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, the thing is about negative comments, I mean... I've always found, and I hope I don't disrespect anyone who's listening to this, if you don't like a video, do not watch it. I mean, at the end wow, of the day... Wow, you got any more, like, nobody no, wants no. to lose. But what you'll do, you'll have those people who come in, watch the video, and then go to the comments and just bitch and wow. moan about everything oh, that was wrong. You mean keyboard warriors? Th things like that. You know, just having a long list of things that are wrong with the video. And I think, why? Why spread the vile? Why spread the hate? Yeah, keyboard warriors. We'll say it to your face, but we'll say it on the keyboard. Yes. Yeah. The, uh, the uh, what do they call them? Uh, trolls of the world. Yeah, just called Basically. Keyboard warriors. As far as I can see, you don't like a video... Switch it. I mean, it's not hurting you if you're not watching it. But if you don't like this, feel free to just to turn off. We won't hold it against you. If you start being vile in the comments, we will send gorillas after you. Yes, I know gorillas. Yeah, I don't know where I was going with that. I don't, I don't. Right, it's my video now. Hello. How is everyone? Right, now we're going to... Dragon attack! <laughs> yeah, we're insane. We know it. Uh oh. Oh, I've got Garden a topic for Garden gnomes. Yes, for, yes. For, for, my family is a bit of a garden gnome enthusiast. A bit. They, a bit. They love. They love. The, the, my dad loves gnomes. My dad loves having decorations in the garden. He finds it brightens the place up. It's absolutely. Yeah. He enjoys it. It makes him happy. I mean, I don't care. I mean, when he calls me up at freaking nine o'clock because there's a gale outside and gnomes are walking around the garden by themselves, and I'm having to go out in my pajamas, go out, grab the buggers. Yeah, that can be a bit annoying. But other than that, it makes him happy. 
and dear God, pray he never sees this video. <laughs> If you walk on the street and you see me living in a cardboard box, you probably knew what happened. <laughs> Jamie's dad, I'll tag you in the video. Okay. Like, even knows how to use a computer. I'm sorry. <laughs> I could just show in the video when I go up. I'd appreciate if you didn't. What's in it for me? Got your skittle cake. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I regular answer though, and it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, you can tell this wasn't planned. Uh... Well, Kelly, topic they can talk about. Not really focusing. Mm. Kelly's doing the dailies. Okay, cool. I'll stay alive. Staying alive, like. staying alive. Look, I think, in all seriousness, um, a lot of terrible things have happened this year. Yeah, up yours, COVID. COVID, the fires, yeah. the flooding. How right, well, about the actual every, bed, what clouds and rules? Everything that's been Yeah, up. if you want my opinion on that on the Tinder web, bro. But well, seriously, just between us, between the people that uh, the people that are suffering because idiots can't be asked to follow the fucking rules. Yes, we salute you, the people that are doing it. Along with the NHS. No, we yeah, we salute mm. the people that are abiding by the rules, especially the NHS people. In my eyes, they need a pay rise. The people that are breaking the rules, let's go break their kneecaps. Okay, I wasn't going to go for that. I was just going to say the people of this channel uh, just wanted to wish everyone uh, that stay safe, good stay health. in good health, buy by the rules, keep yourself safe. And subscribe it's for to this your channel. own good, and I'll keep the maniac away from you. If I'm a maniac... You're just trying to break a, break a bunch of people's kneecaps. On video. YouTube's going to have a field day with that. You asked... Demonetisation, for... Bill. That's what's going to happen. You asked for my opinion and you got it. I forgot you were you for a second. Even I didn't understand that statement. No, but seriously, everyone stay safe and just... Keep safe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and honestly, to everyone who is going through this and working through the nurses, the doctors... Working through the nurses, Jake. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean. For those who are working through this horrible time and doing their best to keep the rest of us safe, thank you so much. And with a lot of respect for the NHS as well. Yeah. I cannot, I cannot give their praises more. Oh, yeah. I mean, when my auntie uh, unfortunately got COVID, they were great with her... She was suffering with dementia at the time, so they they were extra extra calm with her, and I, and I can help thank them enough. Seriously, mm -hmm. the important thing to remember is that no matter how dark things get, just rely on the people you care about. Well, not just rely on the people. This is a time. Yeah. This is a time where we all need to pull together. But no, let's go mad on shopping and let's fluff it's, everybody else. It's just some we should all work there. together, not be against each other. Yeah. I think at the end of the day, though, you need to remember. Well, you've got to look after yourself. Yes, but there are other people out there with the other yeah and families to feed. Yeah. But you got to remember, you've also got other people around you. You've got your family. Yeah, but I'm, saying as, a, I'm saying as a country as a whole. Country as a whole, we're fucked. Yeah, we are fucked. We are we're fucked. We're getting there. But it's like people, when Boris gives his speeches, I respect what he's doing. Then you get idiots online saying, oh, Boris is talking shit. He's doing this. He's saving people's lives. He's, he's trying to save I mean, people's lives as much as he would. Look. Does a president really 10 years down the line, or prime minister, whatever you call them in the world, say, oh, we're back in 2020, 
oh, I let X amount of people yeah. die. Yay. Yeah. No. You want to be the president or oh, anybody that I saved X amount of lives back in 2020. I mean, yeah. I'll be perfectly honest. I'm not Boris's biggest fan. But, but as a prime minister, you know, you've you... got to respect what he's been trying to do, especially since he suffered from it himself. Yeah. Yes. Well, I mean, you can't forget that. I know some people are a bit wibbly about the government and the changing of rules, but it's a day to day thing. We need to deal with it as it comes. Mm. It sometimes gets a bit low enough. They think they can let us have it, and then people take advantage of that, and then it goes then, on the rise. Yeah. The people have what got travelled yeah. to the coast. It's not just about oh, one funny. group of people, it's about the entire country doing what needs to be done and other people taking advantage of it. Okay, have you ever considered taking up a job as a... Um... Job to be a politician. Yeah, a politician, but what's it called? Well, was a no, I'm free... too honest. Journalist. No, freedom speaking people. Um, a protest. A public speaker person. Mm. There you go. I stutter too much. <sighs> Yeah, you also. Yeah, you do. You no, you, not you, that you, you. In that area. Mm. And people will definitely bloody eat you alive for that. I oh, think you'd make a great public speaker, Jack. Thank you very much, mate. There is something else I want to say. Uh -oh. Mm, mm, mm. That's not it. I think I've been saying that you need to rely on family, but I think we have to give a shout out to uh, the non human members as well. I mean, yeah, I right now, a pet well. can be hmm. stop someone going mad, especially in lockdown and everything. Yeah, to all these people that are living alone. We no families that can come around and see them. Get yourself a pet. A cat, a dog, a hamster, a gerbil, even a fish. Something you what can you look want... after and be a part and of. And call it Bob. If you want so if you want something for companionship, um, definitely a dog. But if you want companionship, but not all the time, a definitely cat. a cat. Or you could just get a fish. Call it Kevin. And call it Bob or Kevin. I mean, remember, you've got to look after it properly. You've got to... Be there for it. It's, it's another life. It's it's just a life that's just important as yours. But yeah, in this day and age, I think people. Well, pets are pet, and the day it stops you from going mad. Yeah, pets family. Yeah. Because mm. you can also buy little things for the fish. Yes. You're obsessed with fish. I'm going to buy you a fish. I had about four fish. It's going to be made out of prawn crack. It's going to be one of those little crisp versions of fish, but it's going to be a fish. This is where he hits me. No, just you know, yeah. Oh, watch our videos. Yes. Guaranteed, they're making people laugh. Have a laugh. That's the most important thing. Keep spirits up. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Anything else you want to go by? Any any movies or TV shows you've seen? I'm just can't wait for next year, 2021. And stop picking your nose. I'm picking my nose. Uh, for the new Resident Evil movie that's coming to Netflix. Oh, that's good. Can't wait for yeah. that. I, I can't wait to see this new Suicide Squad that's coming out. For me, it's uh, Avatar 2. Oh, Avatar 2 next Avatar year. Avatar 2 is meant to be good, yeah. Fast and Furious 9 next year. Mm. A lot of good films coming out next year. They've, they've pushed back a few number of this year's films to next year. Yeah. So we'll just have to wait and see. I think... <laughs> Sorry. I think it's going to be good. Excuse me just a second, I'm going to sneeze. Thanks! <laughs> yeah, <don't die. laughs> oh, fall down. Oh. Oh. I hate dust. I hate dust. What did it taste like? You said it you hate dust. <coughs> if he sneezes once more, he's going to make somebody so a nice wife. Yes. I'm not saying that, I'm just saying I sneeze. No, you're right, of course you're not saying it. You've just said it, Bob. Yeah. Yeah, Paul. Paul. God. Sitting there. Sitting there playing with your joysticks. Saying there, <laughs> Jamie, saying that our house is dirty when you've just said it. Fiddling about with your things. I think next time we do a video, we're not going to do it in, in front of an open window. Yeah, that's probably not the best idea. Let's do it in the window. 
Pardon? <laughs> hey, mate, we're close, but we ain't that close. Jesus Christ. Half an hour of madness. This is what you get, ladies and gentlemen. You clicked on the video. You should expect it. It's happened before. If I if I could do a thumbnail, I'm just going to get it a big way, lad. <laughs> <laughs> We're all complete nutters. Yeah, we've got to have a laugh on the internet. Yeah. I think that's what, I think the, the internet should be spreading joy and I've love, got not a hate. a very, very important question to ask. Okay, Are you still recording? Yes. When is the right time for cake? When is the right time for cake? Well, when you're not, when you're not full. When you're not feeling Even hungry. when you're full, you'll still force it down. Right, Kelly? Mm. Cake's good. you got to love cake. Isn't that right, Golden Mass Man? Kick. This is what happens when we get bored. Just two random plonkers saying the first thing that comes into their head. You are a lunatic and I love you. <sighs> He's trying to figure his eyes. Mm. <laughs> well, if you can't have a laugh, what's the bloody point? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It's just to be us in silence now for about 15 <laughs> minutes, isn't it? Because we can't think of anything else to bloody say. Uh, anything else? Uh, I'm getting hungry, I know that. Joe's getting hungry. Shock. <gasps> I've known this man. If I could summon up a man, this man in a phrase, it would be the words, I'm hungry. No, it wouldn't. Well, how, what words have you said to me most in our entire fr relationship? Our friendship. Your name? Many times? No, it's oh, the words, I'm the hungry. <laughs> no. You're not even in full focus, man. Jay? Yeah? What? Feed me, Seymour. Oh, God. <laughs> right. Are you ready to... Uh, Am I ready to what? Do you rumble? Let's, Let's get, get ready, ready to rumble! rumble. <laughs> Would you like to end the video so you can get some tea? Uh -huh. well, there's so much I want to talk about. What do you want to talk about? Food. Yes. When do you want it? Now. <laughs> You're hiding my face now. I am a mystery. I am an enigma. I am Batman. No, I'm not. <sighs> you can make a good Batman. <laughs> Worked out a bit. You know, get a butler. <laughs> make a good Green Lantern as well. He's he's the worst superhero. Well, I won't even call him a superhero. Because he has a ring that gives him power. Yeah, no. The ring does not give him power. Why not? <laughs> I know what you want to say. Well, your fiance's across the room. Now I'm going to make you say it. What were you going to say? In the words of Gabriel Inglésius... Don't blame Gabe. Don't blame, don't blame Gabe. Don't blame Mr. Gabe Inglésius in this. <laughs> I apologise. I'm so sorry, Mr. Gabe. Gabe, I am so sorry. I cannot pronounce words. Fluffy, I am sorry. But seriously, what were you going to say? That was it. That was it, you coward. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Come on. Basically. No, I have a green lantern. Well, at least he's not as bad as Aquaman. He sucks. He sucks underwater. You're just, you're just coming into Big Bang Fairy now. 
I love Big Bang Theory. Yes. And Aquaman doesn't suck. <laughs> he doesn't. Well, how did you breathe? Exactly. You, you, suck, you, you stay out this. of this. You You're playing battleships. You're not involved in this blog. He's playing warships. I don't care. I'm drunk. No, I'm not. And where's it ours? Sorry? Where's ours? I don't know. We are lunatics. See, this is the nerd part of our channel. Yep. No. <laughs> You're weird, Jay. I know I am. Stop picking your bloody nose, Jay. Help it. boy. <laughs> Allergies. My mask is made in China. It was it. See? Got See? Made in China. Good to know. What? I'm not even getting involved. You shouldn't have said that 36 and a half minutes ago. This is still a remote, by the way. Can I put that one out? Look at that. It's gone. Remote bye bye. Look, can I borrow your remote? Because you've got the same tally as mine. He's, he's, he's broke mine. He touched it. Now now I've got Alfred and Rona. Alfred and Rona. There you go. You're lovely to me. Of course I'm lovely. If I was any lovelier, I'd be in a tree baking cookies. When I look. If you were any lovelier, you'd be under a bridge eating billy goats. Really? We're going there with this? Yes. Okay. Yeah. If you was any lovelier, your mother wouldn't give birth to you. That's a good one. I can't think of one. <laughs> I'll be, I'll be, I'll be literally, we'll be going home and I'll be like, oh, I could have said that. Oh, yeah. His mum's a lovely woman. Yeah. Considers me a bloody son. Mm. Very, very, very nice person. Mind you both, Yeah, you've got awesome parents too. She's always checking up. Mainly because she wants to make sure he'll pay for that dent in the wall. You told me to keep walking backwards. You'll hit the chair before you hit the wall. I didn't realise how big your head was. <laughs> Which head are we talking about? This head or that head? I've never seen that head and I hope to never. Jay. <laughs> it won't bother me. I haven't got magnifi magnifi Mag glass magnifying glass on. Magnifying? Magnifying glass on me. Micron telescope. Jay, come here. Yeah. Come here. Yeah. It's not the size of it. It's what you do with it. They can't remember that. Get off me. Get off me. Attack. You hear me? Attack. Go on, a day, right there. Okay. This is Russell, his hair. I can't do that to his chin anymore, because yeah, there's no chin hair there. You did that, though, do you? that, do you? Or that, do you? Or that, do you? Or this, That's what happens. Did you? Well, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you've broken that. <laughs> no, I haven't. Jesus Christ, that gave me an heart attack. Right, he's dead. I can have all these fun cup pops now. You can hell with that. I'm being buried with the buggers. Yeah, then we're going to dig great with them. <laughs> Donate his body to science. No, I'll donate all his football pops to charity shops. See, I'm doing a good cause here. You are so getting haunted. Yeah. You are so getting haunted. I am going to bloody... 
Don't a bloody... I'm going to bloody poltergeist this entire house. Yeah, but Kelly and Paul live in this house. I'll be nice to them. It's just you. Poltergeists are not nice people. Ghosts, sorry. Yeah, you... Technically, he said it right. Poltergeists are evil people. Where ghosts can be nice, they can be bad. Yeah, but poltergeists are just evil people. He didn't say... They are. Poltergeists are the worst of the worst. I'd like to apologise to any Potter guys watching the video. I don't, I don't stand by this rampant discrimination. Yeah. Rampant discrimination of paranormal you'll individuals. Know you you'll know if you've got a Potter guy in your house. Okay. You'll bloody know. Okay, we're gonna. No, we're not gonna end the video. You're gonna talk for a bit. Oh, for God's sake. We'll be back. Duty calls. So I'll leave you with Jay. Okay, he's gonna leave you with me. <laughs> you go for a week. Oh, okay. It's a bit vulgar for the channel. I need to splash my boots. And get some cake. Get some cake. No, I'm, I'm having some of this cake. You are not? Oh, wait, yeah, you can. Can I have a slice? Well, wait, you're asking me cut up first. Oh, I'm feeling like Jay's going to take all of this. Hello. Oh. Um. The happy couple, ladies and gentlemen. This book is cracked. Uh, now I just notice your phone's cracked. Yeah, I did it. Okay, so I've been left in charge, I'm God help us. Is that what you said to her last night? I just listened to the background. We're getting cake. I bought I bought Joe a cake for his belated birthday. Skittles. So they'll, 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 they'll be happy. Last one. Last one I went into Tesco's and uh, everything was cleared out. I think they were restocking and I got that last cake. I think it was partly restocking, partly with the fear with everything that's going on about a second... Uh, Second lockdown, the, the the people are panic buying. I hope that I understand the fear, but don't don't think of other people. Think we don't need another toilet roll incident. Oi, stop eating my truffles. Yeah, he's, he's he's opened it. Okay, come in. Let's go and see the madness, shall we? Okay, this is the Jesus. This is the cake Jesus. I bought. Skittles. Yeah. One minute. One second. That was Skittle. Skittles. Nom, 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 nom. Say it. Don't spray it. I'm so sorry about that and everyone's ears. Dear Lord, I, I got to. This is this is this is this is going to end badly. Why are you pointing at the chandelier? I don't know. So this is the house. That's him with his gun. That's Paul in there. That's are you choking on your skittle? Don't do your mouth, Hey. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Hey, me, me, me. I ain't gonna shoot you, I promise you. Okay. I want to see if I can capture the bullet on camera. Okay. Okay, you might need to come a bit closer. Okay, I'm gonna hide behind it. I'm, I'm gonna do this, so I've got a bit of background so it will accidentally hit me. Anyway. I think you've got the camera. That was the plan. Oh! <gasps> Yeah. Jesus Christ! He's cut it into four equal bits. Oh God! Well, don't know who's having who, but I'm nicking this one. Yeah. I'll just, uh, Jesus. Thank you, Ryan. Christ. Oh, Jesus I like how everybody Christ. else is so. All, all we're missing now is your ice cream. This is this is cake. Mm, I, I God, I'm not going to finish this all. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. Guys, it's only been like an early week out, but we're finally eating the cake, man. 
Just put your budget, please, sir. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. Right, that, that, that's my spot. Okay. Anyone want any more skills? Yeah, I'll, I'll see you after that, the cake. <sighs> Oh god. No, you got them all. Oh. Right, down, okay. okay. <sighs> Put this back. We're currently Can eating now. Any small, any bigger? <sighs> I thought you were going to cut it like a small piece. That's what I thought. They have small pieces. Yeah, bloody hell do you have pieces? Look, this, this is a small piece. That's then. a small piece, apparently. Wait a minute, that's a small that's piece. That's small. That small got an eight to see large. That's a lovely people, isn't it? And um, this next five minutes is just gonna be watching people eat cake. Hmm, it is nice. Alright, uh, guys. Kelly has a question for you all. We're all gonna answer it individually. Go ahead, Kel. Hello. Moment ago. I see my face. There we go. Hello. Now, the question is, if uh, we won lottery, imagining it was £1 million, even though it's probably a lot more at the minute, but if you won one hundred, uh, one, yeah. one mil. If you won £1 million, pounds, obviously pounds is our money, mm -hmm. what would you mm -hmm. do with it? Mm -hmm. And over to you, Joseph. Uh Move to Japan. Mm -hmm. Enter wrestling, move to Japan. Alright. I don't know. Well, we're going to need a fuck ton of spending money. Yeah, million pounds. Well, Pay off any debts we've got for this house. No, we just buy this house. No? Saw so, everything out in that we need to Japan first to live, officially live there. You know? Go over for a month's holiday, see whether we like it or not. So, yeah. Right, ready, Jay? Mm -hmm. And now, over to Jamie. Jay, what would you do if you won a million quid? Um, million quid, uh, I think the first thing I'd do is uh, make sure my sister and my mum and dad are all right. You know, help my sister get the payments done on a new house. Money wise, yeah. Mm. Help me, mum and dad, so they can move to the coast somewhere nice where they'd be by the seaside because we'd be better like that. I think I'd probably get my own place, um, book up on me driving lessons, get some get a car, maybe invest the rest into yeah. somewhere so it lasts a bit longer. Okay, then, Jay. No, um, here's another question mm. into that mm. already question. Um, obviously, if you got a place of your own, where would you live? Obviously, without saying actual place names, would you live at the coast, the countryside, the city, I'd still live in the town? I'm an Alfreton boy, I'll always be an Alfreton boy. I know you make fun of me for it, but I'm proud to be from there. And I think I'd always live there. Fair enough. I'd have a, I'd have, I might make another place where I could just visit family and that, but... Yeah. Yeah. Right. Because that is me done. Jay. Cal. Or Jezbeth. Uh -huh. What would you do if you have a million quid? Well, I assume... One sec, one sec. Well, I assume that you're taking me to Japan with you. This is not... So... <laughs> Go on. Anyway, yeah. What am I for your answer? I just said yeah. So anyway, I'm, I'm, I'm this is not about me. This is all on you. What would you do? I know, but if we but, want a, yeah, of a course. million each and you spend it to go to Japan, I don't need to worry about that bit. <laughs> His face. Yeah, he hasn't, he's not turning it, so you won't know what he looks like. Oh, no, he's turned it now. Right, well, obviously, if he took out care of the housing side in Japan... <laughs> then I'd probably take, o take over the gaming side. I'd have the best uh, PC money could buy. Mm. I'd probably buy the up to date um, PlayStation. And Final Fantasy 16. Yeah, and the, well, as we um, have had the recent trailer of Final Fantasy 16 released. So, 
Um, I'm hoping for that on PS5. Besides that, I guess make sure that, um, you know, my own father gets into a nice nursing home. <laughs> right, Paul. It's all right, mate. You can move into my flat. What would you do if you win a, win a million squid? Well, after I've served time for murdering my daughter, <laughs> uh, I'd go and see my lovely sister down in Brazil. Oh, Cass. Oh, Cass. Defo. Spend some time with her. And then sit down when I think what I'm doing for the rest of my life. You know. So I don't know, Rick. I've always fancied New Zealand. Fair enough. Obviously help uh, family out and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then it's nice. and stupid. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll probably all do that anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, that's... I've missed something out. Oh, God. If we lived in Japan, I'd definitely buy a couple of servants, you know, to look after us. Look after Oh, yeah, in those that ne them Nico worm ears and paws that uh, they have over there. They're so cute. If you're going to do that, can I have a robot then? Sure. How Done. about the cat cafe? Done. They do have those yeah, in they Japan. Yeah, they do have them. Mm-hmm. And I get some um, kitty uh, maids. To cook and clean for us. Yeah. Fair enough. Mm. Any other questions for... Uh -huh. And uh, sorry about the cake the eating, guys. It's just birthday cake that I only just got today. I think we've got before. What is the one food you could not deal without? Oh god. Okay. Right. One, one, one minute, yeah. Oh. Right. We're going to do this in a different order. Jamie. Yes. What was the food you couldn't live without? Food or meal? Because either. If it, either. If it's one of each. Meal. It will be my mum's uh, roast dinners. Absolutely love them. Absolutely fantastic. And uh, for food, like cheeseburgers. What about chicken I, nuggets? I was saying, not chicken nuggets. I mean, chicken nuggets are good, but I've gotten more onto cheeseburgers since the lockdown happened. So. Fair enough, right? Paul, if you want meal or food, or you can do either, couldn't you go well, with that? I think Jay's already answered that. Sunday roast. Okay. Full yeah. stop. Cal, food or meal, you couldn't go without. Meal, it'd have to be. Meal, it would have to be Chinese takeaway, especially the uh, sweet and sour chicken. Well, bacon, <laughs> eggs. Oh, and I can't live without garlic bread. Well, to be fair, I've already fajizzled this one up. If you would have asked me this about 15 years ago, it would have been my grandma's um, homemade everything, because she just made everything from scratch. Or when I used to go and see my gran, uh, homemade bread and bacon and egg sandwiches, because the bread was that fresh, it just all fall apart. So it's you know. Well, that sounds nice. Oh fuck me, it was. Mm. Especially when when the egg yolk drips through through the butter onto the bread oh, and bread just like no. Oh, but man. if there's one food I can't live without, uh. Yeah, this is an odd one, but it would have to be my mum, when I, my mum's um, chili uh, steak with onion rings, chips, and peppercorn sauce and mushy peas. Mm. Mm. I miss my mum's uh, chocolate brownies. Mm. Or if it wasn't that, it used to be either a big loin of pork about about this thick and about that wide, mass it was big, or with noodles, or ch chili ribs. Oh, the meat on them were gorgeous. So, yeah. Got to still get you mine first. Right. So, yeah. Alright then. Let's open the question a bit. Uh -oh. What is the one food that you think ought to be banned? Oh, God. Um... 
Pizza with pineapple. Hey! No offence, Kelly. I know you like it, but I can't stand it. So does Dad! Right, no offence to the pineapple lovers in the world, but I, it's just not right to me. It just, it's just one of those things that Fine. don't seem right. Like pizza, like pineapple, together. No. <coughs> wow! <laughs> we cannot be friends. <laughs> Pizza. He said it. He said he wanted banned. <coughs> what? I can't ban chicken burgers. I like them. Oh wait, cheeseburgers. I'll ban them. Oi, I like. Joe. Call me a mouth. No. Me a mouth. No. <laughs> oh god, it got me. No, it's supposed to be. Yeah, but he's still coughing. Oi, I like cheeseburgers. Anyway. Ban chicken nuggets. I mean. I've answered the question, but I can't answer it. Oh, yeah, I have avocados, because they slime. <coughs> like eating slime, basically. Yeah. My pet hates in food. I guess it would have, well, either eggs or fish, because they just stink. Mm. Plus, yeah, plus the meat. don't really smell. No. They can. Yeah, when they're off. But yeah, that's for me. Fish and eggs. <clears throat> because they can smell and they just make me uh, want to throw up. Avocados and olives. Don't it? Uh, this is going to be hard for me because I'm a foodie myself. There's got to be one or two you don't like. You what ought to be banned, what you don't like. What you really don't like, you will not touch. And we know there's one item. Baked beans. Mm. <laughs> Tin tomatoes. Mm. Well, that's right, there's a food group that we know you don't like. Yeah, hash browns, mushrooms, beans, tomatoes. Um, sprouts. Sprouts. No, they should They should be banned. No. No, sprouts are banned mm. under the directive of Inca Flop Full Auto Nerd Gaming Channel. Sprouts mm. are now banned because it's like swallowing a goddamn hand grenade. Mm. It's like you swallow it, it's like leave the room, love, leave the room. It's going to blow big time. But that's me. Sprouts are banned. Yeah, they're like beans, but in green form. Mm, I love a green bean. And I love sprouts because they clear room. <laughs> and the so, one, yeah. The, and the other one to, we can, uh, you know, ban is uh, anything of the nut variety. Oh, no. Got yes, them. definitely. Because they stink. No. I don't like being near them. Uh, what else could I ban? Yeah. Shellfish. Can't eat shellfish. I ban that as well. Shellfish, so that is shrimp. Crawfish. Somebody just hold this phone while I pull that. Shrimp is alright. Shrimp is okay. But it's a shellfish. It means what it means by shell. Do you mean like crab, crab, and lobster, things like that? Somebody just hold. Somebody. You mean crustaceans. crustaceans. Somebody just hold me back. Why? I love stuff like that. It's what I go to the coast for, apart from fish and chips. So not having a lobster meal, because to me that is the worst. I'm sorry, but they say it's meant to be romantic. It is not. I'm not actually going to ban it, mate. It's just a food I would ban if I had a chance, but I'm not going to ban it. Yeah, you ban pineapples on pizza, we are not friends. Well, don't worry, crustaceans would be the first to go. Okay, I'm happy with that. I don't like fish. Or seafood. Unless it's seaweed, that's not too bad. Seaweed? Yeah, that's not too bad. Ah, but then again, Chinese, it's that it's green cabbage. Actually, no, we can use seaweed, but only in really rich restaurants for China. Yeah. I'm done with my cake if anyone wants to eat it. No offence, but no. I'm full. Oh, can I have a question? If you could, if you were forced to spend the rest of your human life as an animal, what animal would you choose? Easy, fox. Easy. Really? Yeah, because they're small and mischievous. Yeah, but and when they kill something, they'll kill the whole bloody pack, not just the one they want. Yeah, but don't they a little bit? You know, in this country. True, but. Have you ever been to Japan? You can actually... There is actually a, a fox um, 
petting place where they rear them as actual pets. So you want to be a fox in Japan? Yeah. Okay. Well. Terribly falcon. Because it's the fastest bird alive. Fastest oh. animal on the planet. Mm. You imagine diving from about a mile up, about three, four hundred miles an hour. Yeah. Yeah, it's the fastest animal alive, that. Yeah, I think Emperor Penguin. Okay. Why? Because if it's not black and white, scratch and bite. That's well, because they're a very, very tender Peter group. They look after each other. Very nurturing parents, very protective, and they're the bloody biggest bird in there. Only mm. a polar bear or a wolf could take them down, so I won't have to worry about it. Did you them. know that uh, most of the time it's the father that rears the egg, not the mother? I'd be a good penguin dad. Because I'd the mother be tends to go oh, off I'll fishing, be, uh, whereas the father stays with the egg. We've hit an hour on the video! Woohoo! Sorry, back to, back, back to Jamie. Mm. Mm. I'll yeah. be the uh, killer whale waiting for Emperor Penguins to go out swimming. Yeah, if there is such a thing as reincarnation, I come back as an Emperor Penguin. I hope you come back as a little sardine, <laughs> just swimming that way. And I know, yeah. and I can <laughs> remember this conversation. He's changed his think... animal to yeah. a whale now. Yeah. So now he's not a bird. No, I just joked from what he said about Emperor Penguins. Yeah, but you just said it. Yeah, well, for me, definitely the Peregrine Falcon. What about you, Joe? So I was just saying, I was just up and set, finding it entertaining to listen to you three arguing. I know, I know. It'd be a pig. Then it's all they could turn around and eat himself. Pigs well, don't do that. Well, if I was a pig, I'd be the cleanest aminol ever. Roll, yeah, roll around in my own shit. Apparently they are the cleanest animal alive. Hmm. And yet, cats are actually second to them. Would you believe? I think, and I hope Joe doesn't take this wrong, I think he'd make an excellent snake. <laughs> Seriously, because I think snakes make the best pets. Okay, if you think he's going to be a snake, tell me what type of snake he'll be, because there's quite a choice. Now, what do I think, now what sort? Would it be a constrictor he'd be a... or an adder? Bow or a cobra? Well, like what, I said, what is, hang on, what is a cobra? He'd be a boa. It's an adder. You've got yeah. string snakes, what crush? I didn't adder, know this would happen, I'm sorry, viewers. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, cobras spit. That's the two classes, but they also die. Yeah, but they're more spit than anything else. Mm. Mm. I think he'd be a boa constrictor. We're living in a tree. Either that or a baboon. <laughs> Josie, what would you actually be? In your eyes. Come on, you've got to answer it. I know. <clears throat> Sorry, anybody else wants to put an answer in for me before I had to get a chance to say something? No? Good. Because I don't bloody know either. What is the one animal you love above all else? Hmm. Isn't there an animal alive that you love more than any other? Or oh, one good suggestion for Joe, a dog. And see it from a dog's point of view. <laughs> Don't like dogs. That's what I'm saying. Now, if you had the sort of from an answer from a dog's point of view, then you understand. Come on, then. There isn't an animal hey, alive. If you were a love. dog, there are some benefits. You won't have to go to work and you could lick your bollocks without being judged. <laughs> and whenever, whenever men, anyone mentions, well, yeah, if, if his owners or anyone coming around uh, mentions walkies, that's it, he goes mm -hmm. crazy. All right, yeah. then. Just turn it around a bit more. Right? Not like I'm saying it could be any animal, but the animal's have got to be a dog or a cat. 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 Uh, Come on, I think Ty needs dog, you that's know. that's a hard one. You say cat. Cat. It could be a dog. For me, it's definitely a cat. 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 Cat.
but I don't want it on my turn, I want it whenever. But then there's also times where I want it on my I turn, will. so I'm a cross between a cat and a dog, to be honest. But pick one, big cat. definitely cat. Yeah. Alright, eh? turn it around, we've all big cat. Colour. Huh? Pick dog. Colour. Tortoise shell. Huh? Brown tortoise shell. That's great tortoise shell for me. Huh? What colour? Jail Okay. Oh, the cat! Oh. Uh, not a short on that one. I was like a toilet shell colour. Uh, probably a black cat. So I can hide Why? it. I can hide it in shadows. I can hide under bed. Why? Because no, because you can just close your eyes and hide behind mm-hmm. me. God, Kelly, stop being my shadow. Open your eyes. <laughs> I bet it, yeah. I could just lay upstairs and people would just trip over me and fall downstairs. Hello. <laughs> No, if, it, if I was a cat, I'd, I'd just be sat there going, Feed me. Feed you do, me. You do that anyway. That's a quote from Simon's Cat, everyone. That's a quote from Simon's Cat, everyone. Uh, okay. Which is the symbol. That is from Sam, Simon's Cat, who we do follow and enjoy <laughs> Their videos a lot. Oh, they're brilliant. They're very cute. And let me ask them, any other questions. Um, yeah, I've got one. <laughs> if you could write a letter to your ten-year-old self, what would it be? Ten-year-old self. Yeah. Mm. You chat basically Why yourself ten? as a child. Why ten? Because in ten years old, we start figuring shit out. Because before that, you don't really know. Or because you as a child. Right, the innocence of a no, child. No, it was something I heard on Radio 1 if, before they went well, covered shit or going to boot. So I went on Canadian. Okay. Then, right. Ten year old. Who wants to go first? Um, I'll go. Feel free to be as much dead Listen as at are. school. Stop being a dick. Just listen. I think you learnt the first one quite quickly. The second one you're still trying to get hangover for. <laughs> That's what I would do. Just listen. Okay, that's to yourself. You two? Go. You two? We'll do it in order. We'll do it good You two? I've already got one, but I will wait. I'll see what you two Jay? Uh, if I had to give a letter to my 10 year old self, uh. I think I'd tell him to not be afraid to be yourself, not afraid to cry, do not be afraid to throw a punch, and don't let anyone tell you what you sh- to do or what you should be. Stand up to yourself, no matter if they're an adult or a kid. Just be you. Done. Yes. For me, uh, I'd probably tell myself that, you know, I'm going to get plenty of downs and the occasional ups through life. Um, Obviously, through school, I had um, quite a rough time with bullies. So, I probably, and obviously, the friends I did have, well, they kind of left me. So I guess I tell myself, you know, don't worry, don't focus on those people that are supposed to be your friends back then. And just tell myself it will get better. I will um, find the bestest of friends later in life. I just need to be patient and wait. That's it. All I'm going to say, um, I may get a bit upset saying this, and I'm sorry if I get angry. Because if I could write a letter to my 10-year-old self and send it, I would tell him, your parents are not who you think. I know, but it's on camera. Okay. Like I was saying, if I could write a letter. Bless you. Thanks. 
Anyway, if I, if I could write a letter to my 10 year old self, add, your parents are not who you think they are. <laughs> yes, your life was sh- going to be shit until you eventually turned 28 and decide to tell your parents that's it, you've had a fucking enough. But they will put you through shit as you're growing up. Beat you when you've done nothing wrong. Um, say everything's your fault when it's not. Think more of your own sisters and brothers rather than yourself. And um, you don't want to even have to do anything wrong for them to hurt you. But I guarantee you, little man, you, life gets better. Whatever you do, when you get in contact with Kelly Ryan for the first time, do not hand your brother, the, or let your brother, sorry, to take that phone off you and make a load of bullshit up. Because you will spend nearly eight and a half years trying to refine her. And believe me, it will be the hardest eight and a half years of your life. And uh, listen at school, so you can, and fuck all those friends you think you had at school, they're wrong. Not one of them would be fit to tie your shoes today. Because, and enroll yourself at college, because you'll meet your, like, your best friend there, but... Until yeah. a flat guy when you see him to box on Boris' pen. Yeah, and you'll meet your best friend there for life. You won't know it, but you'll know it. Because you'll ask him for a pen, but you'll never give it him back. Then you'll leave college, get a job as a cleaner, but I advise you don't stay in it ten and a half years. Get out early. Get out early. Become the something that you've always wanted. Get a full-time job in one place. Then, and don't take <coughs> five years to find Jamie either. Oh, there you go. There's our all letters to each other. Um, now what? I don't know. I don't know. You passed me a phone. Mm-hmm. Say up. Um, what to my ten-year-old self? Well, you've already done it, haven't you've you? You've already done it. Just listen. I don't mean, there's anything extra you want to say. Take it all in. Fair mm-hmm. enough. Um, yeah. um, apparently I need to turn the camera. You can. And these two have been friends for a very long time. 15 years. 15 years, was it? 